our cast, you know, signed up for a, a show that, you know, the challenge and the mission of the show was to create a world in which people of color, black people, had concerns other than being black, which is the way that I move about my day. Mm -hmm. Like I have lots of things that have to do with race, but there are also some things that have to do with culture, mm -hmm. class, with gender identity, how black folks uh, deal with, handle, and reconcile their association with other people of color. And within the show, it's about a black family that owns a farm and they found that the way they feel about previous white landowners is the way that brown people feel about them. And that's a part of issues of gentrification that's, that are happening in this country overall. And so everyone signed up for this kind of experiment to see, could we make something that was appealing to all audiences and very much speaking to an audience of black television lovers that allows us to kind of get underneath the family drama into these issues that so often aren't tackled in black shows because mm -hmm. you're always talking about being black. Sometimes you don't get it right. Sometimes you won't get it right. Formerly incarcerated man is one of the lead characters, and the whole show is about how we treat formerly incarcerated people as second-class citizens in this country. How do they live? Mm -hmm. You see that every week through him, and it's so just a part of his character. So I think when you know all these shows are so, and all his ten shows, are so kind of, I don't know. I feel like all of the artists that I see working on these shows are leaning in to what it is. They know what they're signing up for. That's the case here. They know what they, they're signing up for and they bring themselves to it in a way that just enlarges the whole piece. How hard is it to say no? I mean, is that something that's in your vernacular? Can you do that? Do you have the confidence to say no? I think when you ask the question about the confidence to say no, I think embedded in that very question is uh, the idea that privilege does not apply. Mm -hmm. And so for me to say no, uh, in my mind, in the way that I internalize it and process it, is very much uh, that there may not be another chance. And there's a natural tension with anyone, no matter who they are, woman, person of color, anyone. Mm -hmm just in this industry to get mm -hmm. the chance for the open door. But when you add to that, that uh, there are issues of representation and marginalization that go on top of the artist's natural feeling of, can I get my thing made? Um, that there's another barrier if you're a woman and another barrier if you're a person of color on top of the barrier of just an artist trying to work in this industry, it becomes really challenging for me to say no. I get an opportunity from Netflix. Do you want to make a doc? Yes. I want to make a doc. Mm -hmm. Would you like to make a, a commercial? Apple. Yes, I will make that commercial. I mean, I'm running around doing everything because I enjoy it. I love it. But also when I really interrogate it, there is a, the fear that any artist has that there won't be another question asked to say no to. So Ava, you're somebody who started in the independent film world where you were incredibly hands-on in all parts of the process. Um, moving into television where you also have other projects going on, you know, that little $100 million movie that you're also making, you have to relinquish some amount of control in, in making a, a television show. How challenging was that for you and, and how do you sort of strike the balance so that you don't have to give up ownership? It was a challenge. I mean, the first season I couldn't do it. I couldn't let go. I had to touch every script. I had to be, you know, I hand-selected every director, all women directors. I hand-selected each one. I had to be there at some point when they were shooting, mm -hmm. if not the whole time. It was, I uh, ran myself a little crazy because I did not know how to um, have my name on something mm -hmm. and it not be, be truly me. It's been a learning lesson, you know, even talking to, you know, some of these folks in, in the breaks, I'm trying to ear hustle. Uh -huh. Has anyone had really good hear, advice yeah, on how to, I hear how that, to relinquish? That advice on how to, I don't know if relinquish is the word, because that feels like, you know, a real giving away, but mm -hmm. to kind of open up the space and know that, uh, you know, with, with, with a real strong direction that, that folks can kind of take up the mm -hmm. mission and, and continue it forward. So it's, it's all, it's all growth process. All right. What's up, YouTube? What's up? I'm Ewan McGregor. I'm Billy Bob Thornton. Brian Murphy. Thanks, Thanks for watching The Hollywood Report. Reporter on YouTube. Hold on. Make sure to... See? I can't even read either. Make sure to subscribe for more stuff and things. Cool. All right. How's that? <laughs> okay.